Good afternoon or good evening, everybody. Um, I seem to have a few more that want admitting, which is fine. I'll just get them going. Okay. Oh, we've got all these latecomers, and not only are we late, everybody else is late as well. Right, your job is to keep an eye on that, that well, list there while I try I and just screen share and get everything going on here. OK, um, right then, everybody, we are in the year three parents evening. Uh, oh, that's not good. We've got no attached file. Uh, Say technical issues. Um, we're in the year three parent presentation, so hopefully you're going to learn lots of things about year three, which is always a good start. If you're in the wrong meeting, now is your opportunity to get in the right meeting. <laughs> And hopefully that will all load. Fingers crossed. Let's have a look. Fingers crossed, exactly. Preparing mm -hmm. slides. Lovely. Can everybody see welcome to year three? Lovely. I love the thumbs yes. up. We're well practiced at this Zoom and uh, Teams kind of thing. So brilliant. So if you're in the wrong place, you need to be in the right place. Um, I suggest you go and do that now because hopefully everybody else is moving on a little bit. OK, so hopefully if this all works. Um, this is year three. We are the class teachers. I'm Miss Doherty for those people who don't know me. I am Miss Brooks and I'll do the 3B this year. OK, and we also have a student teacher who is here with us who might put her an appearance in in a second. Um, we've got, I'll go that way, um, who is Mrs Kosh. Kosh Koshal, Koshal, I keep saying it wrong. You're under pressure, right. under pressure, I just can't do it. Um, she's going to be based in uh, 3D with me, but she will do some work across both classes as well. Um, we have specialist teachers this half term in year three. Uh, we've got Mrs Pryor, who is going to be teaching our PE lessons. That will happen on a Wednesday. Um, Mrs Henderson, who teaches French, that also happens on a Wednesday. And then Miss Marsden, who is going to do music with, with us. Um, that will happen on a Monday. Mrs. Pryor also TAs for us in the morning as well, so the children have got a really good relationship with her um, as we move through the year. Um, so routines and things like that. Um, your children have been in school for a couple of days. Um, they're getting really good at this. Uh, it's early days, but there's a lot of things to get used to. So lunchtime is, um, although it says 12, 12.30 till 1.15, um, that happens every day. We get down to the playground and they go in for lunch and then we get time to have uh, some play time. Um, if there is a problem um, with collecting collecting children, thanks Ms Brooks, um, can you let the office know so that they can get a message to us? If, we, if it's going to be um, something that happens regularly, if you can just send an email to the class teacher, uh, we'll, we'll give you those email addresses at the end then um, it just allows us to keep track of everything and hand over anything that we need to. If you know on Tuesday that somebody's going to be picking up on Wednesday, you can let us know at home time, or if it's something in the morning, you can let Mrs Pryor know um, at the door. She will let you in in the morning. If it happens during the day um, and it's going to be a change to something that would be normal, that's when you need to um, let the office know so they can come and tell us. Um, things that the children need in the classroom every day. They need to have a water bottle. Um, every child needs a water bottle. They are stored in the classroom and they are encouraged to drink um, throughout the day. They obviously need their lunch in a lunch box, unless, of course, they're having a school dinner. Um, they're going to need a reading book. Um, yesterday and today, they have completed their Star Reader quizzes. So we now have um, a library number for them. Um, we're going to go to the library tomorrow. Uh, to enable your children to pick a reading book basically and then bring it home and they need to be bringing that into school every day. Um, they won't then change that reading book until Monday just so they've had some time to read it and everybody else in school's had some time to go to the library and get those books but then from Monday they are changed when your child needs to change them so if that's every day, every other day, once a week they can go at the opportune time um, to do that. But we're just going to say, we'll give them a new reading book on Thursday, and then they won't change that until um, Monday this week only. 
and um, they're going to need their spelling book every day as well. We do spellings throughout the day. They use their spelling list. We practice in them. And you might have noticed today we put their usernames and passwords in for things like my maths homework, my spag homework. They've got their usernames and passwords for their quizzes, times table rock stars. And as and when we get to do it, they will also have a username and password for using the computers in school, which is individual to each child. So they will need to have access to those all the time. And um, so bringing that in every day would be great. Prescribed medicines as normal go straight to the office, don't try and give them to us on the door. Um, and somebody in the office will then come and administer those um, at the time you um, want us to do it. The half term one PE will be on a Wednesday. I've said that with Mrs. Pryor and swimming will be on a Monday and a Thursday. So it's three days a week. Children need to be in their PE kits this half term. And um, we're also saying that there is to be no earrings in for PE or for swimming and um, for your safety. Covering them over with tape is not going to help. It's lightning outside. <laughs> I just yes. caught that um, in the side out this corner of my eye. So that is per school policy. The swimming teachers have said no, no earrings on in the pool. So if you can take those out in the morning, um, that's great. Uh, oh dear. And that is swimming starting from Monday. Oh, coming yeah. Monday. Yeah. And um, the thing we were going to mention about swimming yes. was swimming costumes. We do swim in the morning. So if you want to put swimming costumes on, swimming trunks on under PE kit, do that and then make sure that they have in their bags, obviously, their underwear. Um, if there's a big problem, we can ring you to drop them off or we can find some spares and things like that. Um, but yeah, if it, you want to put the costumes on, that will save so much time. I know you're swimming at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock in the morning on, a on Thursday. Thursday. So nine they're in and Monday. straight in the pool. So and then I think it's half nine on on the Monday, yes. isn't it? So again, it's still in and into the pool. We are the half hour after then. So it's not like they um, are going to be in their PE kits for a really long time. Uh, their swimming kits for a really long time. Can we suggest for girls if they are coming with their swimsuits underneath that they're not pulled all the way up because we have a lot of problems with toileting with them. Yes. So just wear them around the middle and then we'll pull them up just before swimming. Perfect. Okay, so these are our school values. Do you want to do school values? I can do school values. So we are focusing on the respect values um, which has come from Commando Joe, and this underpins everything we do at Ashton, that what we look for in children's work, their behaviour, how they act and interact with people around school. So we are looking for resilient children who, and our E's got empathy, isn't it? Excellent. Oh, one's excellent, excellent and one's empathy. always forget which one they are. So excellent. And we've got self-awareness, which is really important in year three. We're trying to encourage them to become more independent. Um, positivity, which I think is a really, really important one. We want smiling faces, good attitudes every day. Now we've got the empathy yeah. and communication and teamwork. And your children will receive merits for showing these qualities around school. And we've got on the next slide, we've got merit shop. On yeah, Saturday I later think on. so. Oh. It's, it's all celebrating values. So on a Monday, we will have a celebration assembly for the whole of Key Stage 2 together. And somebody in each class will receive a certificate for meeting each of these values. So we'll start with resilience on Monday. Yeah. And then the following week will be excellence. So we'll be looking all week for a child who is displaying these qualities throughout everything they do. OK, I think the next one then is, is that also next? probably Excellent. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, so this is our new kind of strap line, basically. We at Ashdeen, as you know, we strive for excellence in absolutely everything we do. We broaden that out. It's not just excellence for us as teachers or you as parents or um, just for children. It's excellence for everyone, everywhere, every day. So just because it's a Friday doesn't mean that we're not going for excellence. It's all the time under everything we do. Um, so that's kind of our new sort of motto. Um, alongside that, and I wonder if it's, I don't know, it might be a few further on, we talk about being ready, being respectful and being responsible. And if we are those three things, then we can be excellent everywhere, every day, for everyone. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what does that look like? Well, it, look, it starts off with attendance. Obviously, those core values then are up there. Um, excellent self-awareness, positivity and teamwork. 
um, been here on time, ready to start the day with everything that they need. So they enter through the door by the library. Hopefully we've all found that yesterday and today and we've had no strays going on. Um, they come out, they come in through that door where Mrs Pryor will be. If you need to talk to anybody in the morning, hand over any notes, hand them to her, give her a message, she will make sure they get down to us. The reason we don't come down to you and meet you in the corridor is because then the children are in the classroom on their own. So we do our greeting of the children in the classroom. And um, if you are late for whatever reason, if it's after 9.55, so five to nine, you need to enter through the school office where somebody will need to sign them in. They can't just come round on their own, so don't drop them off on the car and off you go into the office, somebody will sort you. You need to sign them in and then they need, we need a reason as to why they're late, even if it's just as simple as there was lots of traffic or couldn't find shoes or whatever it might be. And um, it just allows us to amend the register. Um, children will be dismissed at 3.30 and from the key stage hall doors. Now, as you look at the hall from the playground perspective, my class will come out on the right hand side and Miss Brooks's class will come out on the left hand side. I do hope I've got that right because yes, it's the other way around from the inside. Um, so, yeah, again, attendance that regular being here all the time and being on time. It just starts the day correctly for them. They are happy if they're here on time to do the register to find out what's going on. We go through timetables and things like that. So that's really important for them. Um, here we go. We've got a bit of a stat for you. You can tell Miss, um, Mrs. Roberts has done this. She loves the stat. So last year at the end of year six, those with attendance of 95% and higher attendance had 90, 98% achieved the expected standard in maths. So if they were here at school, they achieved that expected standard in maths. OK, and again, if those with less than that percentage of attendance, that 95 percent attendance, only 60 percent of them achieve the expected standard in maths. So there is a reason for them being here. They happen to do maths in year six first. And um, obviously we do English and maths separately. So the results will be slightly different for us. But, you know, there is a reason for them being here on time. Uniform? Yep, I can take uniform. So this year, the school is having a real push on uniform. So we expect the children to come into school looking smart every single day, whether that is in their uniform or their PE kit. And um, if for any reason there is a problem with the uniform, you do need to let us know via email, which we'll give you at the end. If you don't let us know and your child has shown up in incorrect uniform, you will be contacted by school to ask what the problem is and when this problem will be resolved. Um, so we're looking especially for shirts tucked in, ties on properly, jumpers, PE kits. We shoes, need. not trainers. Shoes, yes, shoes, not trainers. And even on PE days, we would like PE tops tucked into shorts or joggers um, to make sure they're looking nice and smart when we're walking around school and making sure that we are wearing appropriate trainers for PE. Because mm -hmm. if it's not appropriate shoes, they won't be able to join in with those lessons. So like we said, if there's a problem, if they've grown out the school shoes or a jumper's got lost, if you could let us know by email and we'll make sure that's recorded down. If not, you'll be contacted to ask us why there is a problem. If you're unsure of the uniform policy, it is on the school website. So, you know, it is something we are holding high expectations of. So we'll be holding you to those same high expectations. And um, having looked around my classroom this afternoon, there are quite a few PE jumpers still left in the classroom. So I'm don't worry. As well. <laughs> don't worry if you're missing a jumper, they will come home tomorrow ready for you as well. So we don't. If they are not named. It would be really helpful mm. if they could be named. I know I've got some in my classroom and we would do our best to reunite them with the owner. But if they're named, we can do that a lot easier. Yeah, absolutely. So these were the um, three R's that we're looking at. The ready, respectful and <clears throat> responsible. So again, the children have talked about the class rules, we've talked about rules for the school, and we've also talked about rules and the behaviour we expect from them. So rules and expectations have been agreed yesterday, yes. we did ours yesterday, so that those children in those classes are ready for school. They know what they're working towards. Um, being ready, being respectful, what does that look like? How can that happen? And then being responsible. Like Miss Brooks says, we are trying to create independent children here. So being responsible for putting their own things back in their bag, ready for the next day, making sure they've got the right things um, with them. Uh, celebration assembly will be respectful, uh, will be for exceptional work, not the rule. So 
yeah, children do a great job, but we're looking for those celebration certificates for the exception. So it really is important that they're striving for those excellent things all the time. I don't think there's anything else on that one. So these are our new um, posters. Posters. Let's say posters. posters. I like posters. So um, we're having a real big focus on this half term walking in the corridors. We're doing that in silence. We're walking on the left hand side and we're walking in single file. We're not talking to each other as we chat down the corridor and have a little bit of a saunter. We're going one place A to B and we're doing it really smartly so that again we are ready for our next thing. Transitions are a big, big problem um, where we take hours to get down to the playground and then they're not getting their toast, they're not getting their playtime and those sorts of things. Um, talking about being ready for learning and um, arriving on time, all those things. Um, it's really small for me to see, so I'm hoping it's much bigger <laughs> for you guys to read um, there as well. But having their water bottle, making sure they've got the correct correct equipment which we've given them. Are they looking after it? Do they put it away at the end and of the, the equipment day? equipment coming inside the classroom yeah. from their bags as well. So, so they're spelling books. Going back and forth. Yeah, spelling books, reading books, all those things that they might need. Um, the children are really familiar with these um, posters. They are around the classroom, they are in the corridors, they are everywhere. Um, but again, it all links back to those rights respecting, uh, not rights respecting, the respect values um, that we talked about at the beginning. So, um, yeah, merit shop. there you go, go merit shop. You wanted to do merit shop. So, children will be given merits via Class Dojo for showing our respect qualities in school. And at the end of each half term, they will give them, be given the opportunity to spend these merits in our merit shop or to save these merits to get a bigger prize at the end of the term or year even. Mm -hmm. I can see a lot of mine have carried them over from year two. I've got a few that have carried them over. Um, so we will be looking every day to give merits out to children showing those qualities. But similarly to giving merits, there are also consequences for actions. So last Which year, used to be. Yes, last year these used to be called sanctions, but we've changed that this year and they are now consequences. So again, this poster is very, very small on our computer, but oh, we've got a big one next to it's it. It's just straight there. <laughs> um, so initially, a child is given a warning if they are not ready and respectful and responsible. So this will be given first, and if they don't correct their behaviour from this, they will then receive a C1. And that means they will lose 10 minutes of their playtime. So if this happens in the morning, that will be morning play. If it's near play on lunch, this will be a lunchtime play. And if it's in the afternoon, this will be carried over to the next day. They do have the opportunity to earn the 10 minutes back from the C1 if they change their actions and try their hardest for the rest of that session. Their, their playtime is only 15 minutes, yes, so it is a chunk of playtime. It is. Um, if they don't fix this behaviour, that will then move on to a C2 where they miss their 10 minutes of playtime and will be going to the opposite class for 10 minutes as well. Then our next one is a C3, which is for actions such as play fighting, intent, causing damage to property, um, poor choices. Um, they will miss 30 minutes of their lunch time and parents will be contacted as well for that one. We really are hoping that we will never have to give C3s. Okay. Really hoping. And then C4 is for intentional harm and deliberate damage and also using racist and homophobic language as well. And that would mean missing lunchtime and working outside the head teacher's office for the rest of the day. Parents will also be contacted for that as well. For likely to be contacted by a phone yes. after school so that you are well aware of what's what's happening. Um, but again, the children have been through it. They know what they're going to get if something happens. They know what those things mean. And yeah. um, this is not new to them. It's just a change of language. Um, they're very familiar with the, the idea of their merits and they're quite keen to yes. pump up their merit prize things. So as we move to the curriculum, um, we had some parent um, voice who sort of said, well, basically the feedback we were got so it said that we weren't 100% sure what was happening in school. So um, teachers have spent a lot of time putting together um, curriculum overviews for you, really. Um, these have been sent out today. Um, they have been shared with you guys at home and they're going to be shared each half term. Each half term, you will get the blue um, overview that gives you an overview of English, math, science, and then the other subjects that are done across the year. 
Behind all of that, there will be um, the jigsaws. Again, the children are aware of these. They know what they're, what's going on with these. These are put into books. This is the intended teaching knowledge and the outcome, basically. We are teaching your children these things over the six week period. Um, the bar at the top is all about personal development. So we did um, some training on Monday and we were asked to think about what training and um, what we had experienced at primary school to impact personal development. And we all went, oh, we haven't done anything. And then when we started to unpick it, it's those things like trips, sports teams, clubs we've been in and um, story times we've had. And our so, respect and assemblies. Yeah, victories. all those, all those things. So what we've done is we've actually blocked that out for you across the top to say these are all the things on top of the curriculum stuff that we do for personal development for development personally of your child so if somebody has a particular passion for a particular sport they have the opportunity to do that via a club or and it can be just not sport we've got i know we've got sewing we've got cooking we've got choir, art coming music. up choir um, there as well. So the opportunities for children to be able to attend those things. And um, like I say, those have been emailed out to you today. If you haven't received those, then please do email us and we can get them to you. Um, oh, I've just done that, look. <laughs> um, so the personal development things. So again, within the curriculum, we're looking at the rights, respect and assemblies, the rights of the child. So we link that to the UNICEF. Um, rights of the child so your children will start coming home saying oh I have the right to this and I have the right to that and um, as they start to learn those rights and um, we do a weekly picture news which tends to be a global aspect of something that's happening um, and then we we break it down for the children basically at their sort of language and being able to understand what's going on and um, they have an election of school council members so they do that themselves they put themselves forward as somebody who wants to and then we elect them um, we've got Commando Joe's sessions running this term, so they will run for um, all autumn term one and two. Music performances for families, I've got a date for that for you, I think it's around March time, um, where we will do music with Miss Marsden in the music lessons and then you guys get to come in and listen to the wonderful tunes that they can then um, perform for you. We obviously have weekly PHSE lessons where we talk about being different, we talk about our bodies, we talk about the challenges we face, we talk about the goals we want to achieve, all those certain things. And then we also do um, hot turning no outsiders lessons, which again is all about accepting people. That's everybody in every year group across the school. Specific to year three, we obviously have different things going on. So, um, we've got we're able to apply rules around the school as they're needed we do road safety workshops we're going to tatton park miss brooks is going next week and we're going the week after and um, there's a rocket workshop to do with stem that's happening in half term three again that's all about pushing the boundaries what can we make happen and um, this if can organize a trip to a museum to do the egyptians which will happen in half term five we've got e-safety workshops happening for the children you guys get invited to those as well um, sports events, fire safety workshops, economic workshops, all again at the children's level. So all those different things um, there to basically for that personal development. Sounds like a busy year. It is. I think I might give up about Friday. <laughs> um, we're really looking forward to it, to be honest. So um, online homework, um, that's again, it's another part of that being responsible and um, that's set every Friday. So maths, you have got your my, Math, my maths usernames and passwords. I'm hoping they're all the same from last year. So if you've saved something um, on your devices at home, they should just be able to access them. If not, they're in the front of the spelling book. That is set weekly and is usually to do with something we've been doing in class. Obviously, as the year goes on, we realise, oh, we've got a gap in our four times tables. We might set four times table homework or we might set um, measuring homework or something that maybe not doing currently in the classroom, but have done before. Um, we've got TT Rockstars. Again, should all be the same usernames and passwords. It should just all have moved up for you um, that the children can access. I think at the moment they're set to cover all times tables and um, give us 
a little bit of time just to get to know your children a little bit better where we can start grouping those children to be able to say actually they don't need to know seven seven times tables they need to really focus on their fours so we can start blocking out certain things for them English is done fortnightly in terms of homework online. That's through spag.com. Again, you've got those usernames and passwords in your um, spelling book. Log on to there, there will be tests set. It's a two week thing, so you don't feel you have to do them all on Friday night. You've got that time to do it. Practicing spellings, again, they came home with a spelling list and spelling book today. They've got that. Again, that's done fortnightly. So that spelling list one is not tested this Friday, but it will be tested next Friday, except for 3B because you're on a trip. Right, so you're going to do it on Thursday, aren't yes. you? So yeah, yeah, it mean week. to say, oh, we're on a trip, but we're going to do our spelling test while we're there. Um, so we've decided to do it on the Thursday, but it will generally be the Friday and it's two, two weeks to practice those. You'll notice then um, that there's a list at the top and a list at the bottom. The list at the top will be the focus for the week and um, for the two weeks of teaching. And the list at the bottom will be what we did the previous two weeks, except this list where it's year two, year two common, two exception, common words. exception words. I was thinking something else, but it's not. Um, so again, it will be both. When they are tested, they're not just tested on the words from top to bottom, they're tested in sentences, the words are jumbled up. So the more sentence writing you can do, the more opportunities to do those writing things um, is great. And they're also tested on their punctuation in those sentences oh, as yes. well. We will we, be looking for that. We start off with full stops and capital yes. letters, so we don't we don't go too far, so um, and then we build it up. And again, it's things that they're exposed to in English that they then can practice in their spelling test. Um, the expectation for homework is that they read for at least 20 minutes every day at home with you guys. They also read in addition to that with us at school. Um, there's always opportunities for them to just pick up the book and read for five minutes just while they're finishing off or something's getting handed out. Um, we encourage them to do that, but for you guys at home to have at least 20 minutes sat down with somebody where they're reading. That can be reading out loud, it can be reading to themselves, it can be reading to the dog if you're cooking tea, as long as you can be you know, around and, and monitoring that reading. Um, we are going to check online homework. Last year we trialled it, we noticed the drop off over the year, so we're going to check that weekly. So it's set on a Friday, we will check it the following Friday. If it hasn't been done, your child will stay in and will do it in their playtime. Please don't use that as a, oh, well, they can do it at school instead. That's not what we want to do. We don't want them to be losing that 15 minute playtime because um, it's valuable time for them just to yeah, download a little well. bit and, and have that break. So they will end up doing it in their time. So if there is a big problem that your child really can't do it and has had a huge meltdown about it, just send us an email so we're not chasing them to do it and we'll see if we can work out what the issue is. Um, but again, if that homework's not been done, we will be contacting you for um, some support in that matter. Anything else homework? Don't think, Don't think so. so. That's covered the homework. Okay, so how to help at home. So how to help at home documents are given out for you. Um, they generally come out, I don't think you've had this via email yet, but they generally come out um, just before parents evening. So again, it gives you some ideas of games you can be playing, different things, what our expectations are across English, maths, reading, and then um, we've also got mental maths on there as well. So um, I don't think we said about mental maths, did we? We've done spelling tests. Mental maths but tests. Mental maths tests also happen on a Friday and they're strategies that are done in school. But again, if you want to have a look, the curriculum is on the website and you can absolutely find out which mental strategies we're working on. Um, expectations, so things like learning all their times tables. In year four, they do a national test and um, they do the times table checker. So actually by year three, we want them exposed to all of them. We do focus it down being twos, threes, fours, fives, eights and tens, absolutely key. But elevens are easy. So let, let's do those as well. If we can do our fours, we can do our eights. So if we can do our sixes, we can do our twelves. You know, build them up like that. Um, reading for 30 minutes. Oh, it says 30 minutes there. Oh, 30 minutes each day. So some of that is covered in school. It's then 20 minutes at home. Spellings to be practiced regularly. 
homework to be completed and then them becoming more independent and responsible with those things that we're doing as well. Reading. Oh, Give we've got reading. more reading. Um, so <coughs> we are working really hard this term to ensure that all children are becoming fluent readers out loud. We've noticed that's something we need to work on in school. So like we said, we're reading every day in school and we'll also be doing guided reading sessions every day in school where we will be encouraging children to read out loud every day. Um, so 20 minutes at home, like we've said, and all children in Key Stage 2 will be taking books from our library and we will be going tomorrow yes. for our library visits for the first time. Once the children have read these books, they will have the opportunity to quiz on them on Accelerated Reader. Um, and they earn points for each quiz that they complete correctly. Yeah. And then they get onto the reading leaderboard, which is celebrated in our celebration assemblies on a Monday. I think there is a picture of this on the next slide, maybe. I think so. Think so. Yes. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> um, so each child is set a personal target, and that is based on the score they got for their star readers. And they are all expected to meet their personal target each half term. It's very achievable for yeah. them. So the expectation is that they meet it. So the more books they read, the more they quiz, the more likely they are to, read, to reach that target. We usually quiz in school, don't we? Yeah, we, we did have um, a link on the website, and I need to speak to Miss Garrity about this, um, that allowed you to quiz with your children at home as well. Obviously, we have, for those of you who are keen and have been on the website, we have changed website provider, um, and I believe that link has come down from the website. The problem is, if you Google Accelerated Reader, it takes you to the global site. What we need to do is get the Ashdeen link so that you're in at the Ashdeen level, and then you can quiz from there. It is on my list of things to do, yes. so I will speak to Miss Garrity about that and get that up there for you as soon as possible. Unless, of course, she says, actually, we just want them quizzing in school, and then if they're reading at home, they can certainly come in and quiz in school in the morning. Um, that's not a problem. Um, but they're quite keen to be on the leaderboard, aren't they? Yes, they are quite keen to, to get one. those merits for achieving those targets. We have a reading leaderboard in the classroom yes. and the whole school one as well, which we see for all the other key stage two year groups too. So it's always a happy day when their name gets added to that board. Absolutely. And mainly because they get five merits, they get which five merits. they then can go and spend in the shop. You can see how this all links together. Um, OK, so there are a few key dates for you there. Um, this is where I thought I knew I'd written music performance down. Um, obviously, some of them might change a little bit. Um, there will be things added, but these are the things that I am aware of and I know about. So swimming lessons starting the 12th of September, i.e. Monday. So and swimming will be every week, twice a week, and each child will swim for half an hour. So that's Monday and the Thursday for year three. Um, parents' evening is the 19th and 20th of October. Ooh, well, that's happens. interesting. Yeah. Somebody else has got control of my screen. Here we go. Um, 19th and 20th of October. I'm not sure if it's an in-school parents' evening or a virtual or a mixture of both. So keep an eye out for some extra cons from the school office. Um, individual school photos will be taken on the 7th of November. They are usually then back in time for Christmas, so they um, are Good there for Christmas you. Gift. It's a great Christmas gift, um, as long as you get your order in. I don't know why this keeps doing it. I don't know what's going on, so we're going to carry on. Um, Christmas performance is going to be on the 14th of December. I believe that this year it is on. Um, it's at the Leisure Centre, but obviously keep an eye out for more school comms there. Then we've got parents' evening in March, which is the 9th and 10th of March, which I'm very upset about because that happens to be my birthday. Um, so I'm going to be spending my birthday with you guys. I'm not at home. <laughs> um, sports day is the 26th of May, and it will be either a morning or an afternoon, so that we're key stage one and key stage two. Planned trips, obviously, that we've got so far is Tatton Park. Um, 3B going on the 16th of September, which is next Friday, and 3D going on the 23rd of September, which is the following Friday. The music performance is the one I was talking about with Miss Marsden learning um, some music with the children and some singing and some performance um, work, um, and that will be held on the 30th of March. I think it's at like nine o'clock um, in the morning, like an assembly would be. Um, your children then perform to you guys, so you'd be invited in for that. 
like I say, there is space there for lots of other things. It's just not all confirmed. Um, but as soon as we know something, we'll let you know something. Um, and last but not least, we've got our class um, email addresses. Um, 3D at ashdeanschool.net. Uh, that gets you through to me. And 3B um, obviously gets you through to Miss Brooks. We will get an automatic um, notification, a response to say, obviously, we are teaching all day. We both teach full time in the classroom. We're not able to respond directly to you straight away. Um, we will get to your emails, obviously, at the end of the day. Um, and we will endeavour to get back to you as soon as possible. There is a 48 hour leeway. Sometimes we have to find out some information for you to be able to give you the right information. Um, and sometimes, unfortunately, through practice, um, emails do get a little bit lost and um, they get knocked down. So if you haven't heard from us, please, please just send us a, a bit of us a prompt. Oh, I did send you an email last Friday. Um, I hope you've seen it. Um, the likelihood is we've seen it and gone, oh, we'll deal with that. And, Must then, have to that. and then, you know, the day has taken over. Um, the email addresses are obviously in capital letters. I don't think it when you send matter. them, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I didn't think it did. Um, I think my leaving it as a lowercase letter just upset me, but to be <laughs> honest, um, which is why I popped it as capitals. Like I said, anything that's an emergency, send through to the office, but if it just is for our information, then please do send us an email. Um, and that's us. And if I can stop share, I will do, but I'm a bit unsure of how to do that. Um, obviously, if you've got questions, please do. Um, no, I can't see. I'm just going to have to leave it on. Oh, go on. Oh, yes, there we go. Lovely. Well done. Good spotting. Two eyes. Um, obviously, if you've got any questions, please do ask. That's not a problem. Um, if not, you are free to go and have a lovely evening. Thanks very much. No Thank problem. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Can I ask a quick question, please? Yes, you can. <clears throat> it's just about um, this week uh, when there's no swimming. Do they need to come in PE kits or do they need to? Uh, tomorrow, no, they can come in uniforms. There's normally uniforms. No okay, yeah. I'm Holly, so, by the way. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for the information. Is that, that going to be on the website? Will it be available? The information or? should be on the website. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, give us sort of till the end of the week and um, yeah. pop that up. That's great. Thank you so much. All right, no problem. Bye. Have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you.